Jason here again with another video for EEM 171 codes and installation and in this video we're going to look at the tools and conduit you'll need to do the pipe threading lab okay so just want to go ahead and say first of all with this lab does get kind of messy okay so you definitely don't want to wear any good clothes okay for doing this lab okay I don't recommend that you wear real good clothes for any lab but especially this one okay it does get kind of messy alright so look at the tools that you'll need first of all the pipe cutter okay to actually cut the conduit and I know it's old but this is mine from home because all of our pipe cutters here are broke due to students not using them properly so I'm going to try to show you the correct way to use that in one of the videos here also the threader itself okay there you can see the threads in it it needs to be half inch we're doing half inch RMC type conduit then the reamer which again is a little bit different for the thick conduit I'll show you how to use it okay again tape measure and sharpie to measure and cut the conduit also for this cutting fluid okay which is in the spray bottle so this is what's going to cause you to get messy okay and paper towels try to keep some of those down here but they may not always be available so you can always go up to the restroom and get some before you start and of course safety glasses okay and of course the vise and your thick conduit see the threads on there already that's factory threads so we're gonna cut this off and show you how to make those okay so the reason for this lab with this thicker conduit which is what's used often in industry okay because of the thicker wall um, it cuts down on electrical noise okay which is can be a big issue with um, sensitive electronics such as PLCs and drives okay, and other computer type systems so this is used very often in industry and to connect it to a box you have to thread this conduit okay, and so it doesn't just do a simple connection like the thin conduit we looked at okay. so again you want to secure that in the vise like so and tighten that down okay and it'll be likely that you if you're doing this lab somebody else will be doing the bending conduit lab so y'all will have to share the vise here okay so all right so that's just a quick introduction to what you'll need to do the pipe threading okay so we'll have another video to show you how to cut it and thread the RMC conduit that's all for now Okay, Jason here with another video for EEM 171 codes and installation looking at the pipe threading lab conduit threading and in this video I want to show you how to use the pipe cutter and cut the RMC conduit 
Okay, this is a very important lab. As I mentioned before, we've had several cutters destroyed because of it not being done properly. So if you don't see any other video I have here, please watch this one. Okay, so it's very important. So first, let me just show you the cutter itself and how it works. Okay. All right, so this is one I brought from home. Okay, pipe cutter is a very useful tool. Makes a good clean cut. Okay, you don't have to worry about it being crooked like it is with a hacksaw. Okay, so I just want to show you the parts. First of all, you have this handle here to adjust this part up here, which contains two rollers. Okay, so your conduit actually sits here between these two rollers, okay? And then you just use your handle to tighten up the conduit to your blade, okay? And here's my blade up here, okay? So you tighten that up against your conduit, putting your blade against the mark on your conduit, tighten this up till it's snug, and then you start turning the whole unit. Okay, so we just walk you through the whole process here. Okay, so first I want to mark my conduit. Okay. So I just want to basically cut this threads off. So here I'm just going to not waste so much, I'm just going to do an inch and a half, okay. This conduit is expensive, okay, a lot more expensive than the thin, thin type. Okay, so I take my cutter. Loosen up the handle. Place it between the rollers. Okay. Let it rest there and then bring it up to where the blade is at my mark and get it snug. Okay. Not super tight, just where it's on there. Okay. So basically just turn this whole unit, okay, go about two or three times, okay, and then where you can see it here. Okay, and then I'm just gonna tighten it up just a little bit, okay? Not much at all, okay? Biggest problem I have here students over tightening okay you just make a little bit of tightness as you go 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 around a few times and tighten a little more okay don't rush it starting to twist a little bit so I just need to tighten that down a little bit but only doing about a quarter turn on the handle at a time okay and when it gets through it'll just pop off like that okay got a nice smooth cut
Okay. Straight as it can be. So the key here, don't over tighten the pipe cutter. Okay. Keep tuition from going up. <laughs> okay. So that's how you use your pipe cutter to cut the conduit. So hopefully you see how to do that and won't destroy the blades for the pipe cutter. And hopefully you've watched this. Okay, so that's how you use your pipe cutter and that's all for now.